what I wanted to do this morning in this morning's video is talk about uh, what, what things you should consider when you're putting together your digital marketing budget. And so there's four things that I think uh, that you should focus on. We focus on these things here, um, and I, I think they will bring you value too. So the very first thing that you have to focus on is what are your specific measurable goals? You would be amazed at the number of organizations we work with who, who don't start with specific measurable goals from the very onset, right? They immediately start with what kind of different marketing tactics or channels are we gonna use? You know, what, what do we want our messaging to be? And all those things are critical and they have a place. Uh, but they really come after you establish what are you actually trying to accomplish as an organization. And so it may seem strange, but when you start thinking about your budget, you have to start with the end in mind. What does success look like? What are our specific measurable goals that we're going to gauge uh, our impact and our success in terms of our digital marketing strategy? So that's the first thing. The second thing that you have to think through is you have to understand your team. What is their competency and what is their capacity? And so as you start to think through what are our goals and what do we want to accomplish as an organization, you then have to turn inward and think about, okay, who is on our team that is capable of helping us accomplish these goals and objectives? And as it relates to your team, you have to think of two things. What are their competencies? What are their unique skills? And you know, what are they capable of really providing as it relates to the strategy? And then two, what is their capacity? A lot of organizations we work with may very well have people within them that have the right competencies, but they don't have enough capacity. They don't have enough time. You know, maybe it's a small to medium sized business and they're wearing three or four hats. And so you have this, you know, these robust goals and objectives and you have this aggressive digital marketing strategy, uh, but the people that you've you know, asked or tasked to accomplish them, you know, they're just spinning too many plates. And so you have to consider when you establish your budget and your goals and objectives and your strategy, who's gonna do this work, what is their competency in terms of skill, and what is their cap capacity in terms of time. The third thing that you need to consider is your budget. And there's really two different ways that you can approach this. Uh, there's not a good or a bad way, but there are a couple of different ways that we've seen people approach it. One way is you start, uh, you, you only focus on the goals. These are our goals, this is what our business is trying to accomplish, and we're going to invest in our business growth, uh, whatever, whatever that amount is, because we want to accomplish these goals. And so you don't so much start uh, immediately with a limited budget, you start with this perspective of what are our goals, how aggressive do we want to be, what do we want to accomplish, and then the, the investment is what the investment is based on how quickly you want to accomplish those goals and objectives. A second approach you can take as it relates to budget is a fixed budget. If you know that you're gonna spend $100,000 on digital marketing, then you start with the budget and then the strategy evolves and is implemented around the budget. Again, there's not a good or, uh, good or bad way of doing that, but you have, to, you have to have one or the other approach. Uh, the thing I see all the time is that people will come to us and they want the full meal deal then they get the budget and they don't like the budget and so they reduce it, but their expectations of the goals and objectives do not change. So there's nothing wrong with having a fixed budget, there's nothing go wrong with going slow, there's nothing wrong with it being a two or three year journey in terms of implementing a good digital marketing strategy, but your expectations and your goals and objectives have to match your budget priority. And so these are some things that you have to consider. And then the fourth and last thing is, um, are you going to do this in-house or are you going to develop a partner? If your team internally has the right competencies and the right skills, it makes 100% sense for you as an organization to own all of your digital marketing and implement it and be really effective in that way. Now, we work with some you know, small organizations, some medium-sized organizations, and really large organizations, and even the teams that have competent people and people uh, with capacity, usually there's so much work that, that is involved with and, and goes into the digital marketing strategy that very rarely can one team do it all. Um, but if you can, that's a really good approach to take. If you can't, I think that's when a conversation is triggered with an agency, and any good agency is gonna wanna know these things. What are your specific measurable goals? Who, who are our points of contact gonna be and the team that we're gonna collaborate with and communicate with and who's gonna give feedback? And you know, what budget are we going to work within in order to accomplish those specific measurable goals? So as you pursue uh, your budget in this coming year, these are some things that I would encourage you to consider. Thanks for your time.